Hi, I'm Diane Nelson. Welcome to Meet the Candidate of Harrison Township 2020. This project is a joint effort between myself as the Senior Center Coordinator and Melissa Goins, the Library Director for Harrison Township. The program is designed to bring information to the voters of Harrison Township about the people who currently serve the township and others from our community who want to. The library nor the senior center endorses any candidates. The only goal of this project is to provide voters with information. We're talking to Adam Lipsky, candidate for the Lance Cruz Public Schools Board. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Adam. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity to talk to the community. Uh, over the last two years, I've, I've spent uh, on, on the Lance Cruz Board of Education as your board treasurer. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve the community in such a capacity. It's been not only um, a learning experience, but a great experience in, in seeing the impact that we can have in our children and our staff on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a very thankful and happy husband to, to a wife that is a school teacher in the Fraser School District. Um, I have two children in the uh, Lance Cruz District that both attend South River Elementary. Um, I've spent six years in Harrison Township. We previously lived in Macomb. Uh, we purposely moved into this district because of the schools and the staff and the teachers that we knew and uh, couldn't have made a better decision. Um, I, again, with having so much education in our, in our household, um, serving on the Board of Education has, has really been a pleasure. Um, I went to Xavier University where I got my uh, Bachelor's of Arts degree in business. Um, I am a, a cloud enterprise account executive for a technology company out of California. So I do have the pleasure of, of working from home, which gives me the time, the ability to, um, to, to give the, the challenges that this board brings to us, the time and um, energy that it needs. So again, it's been a, a very pleasurable and, and, and Frankly, last six months, crazy experience with the Board of Education, but, but uh, very thankful to have been voted on two years ago. Great. What originally prompted you to run for the school board? So the, uh, the, the board president, Hillary Dubé, uh, I, I knew her from, um, from some conversations and some friendships that we share in the community. And um, I, I really paid attention to her and, and the board and what they were doing. Uh, and frankly, it, it was asked if I would uh, if I would help join the board and, and make some of these uh, really tough decisions that this board uh, really has to make. And I, and I really wanted to serve the community. I, I enjoy um, with the Lance Cruz Little League as well as the Lance Cruz North Softball um, uh, teaching, mentoring our, our children in, in that capacity. So. Frankly, it was an easy decision to, to put my name in the hat and uh, glad it worked out two years ago. Okay. What do you see as general concerns for the Lance Cruz schools and how do you plan to address them? Uh, the, the, the glaring challenge that we have, uh, particularly over the last six months has been our COVID-19 response and the plan and the uh, implementation of that plan. Um, we were a district that um, that led the way in in driving face to face um, learning for our students and and it was an important for us as a board to give our community and our families the decision to go virtual or go face to face and in doing so seventy percent of our families have gone face to face which is allowing us to have that social distancing which is also allowing that thirty percent who don't feel like it's quite safe to come into schools um, to have that ability to learn as well and um, that is keeping our, our children safe, keeping our staff safe uh, and, and, and happy and, and teaching in such an environment, which is something that we may never see again, um, has been quite the challenge. And that, that's first and foremost. Our second uh, challenge is, is our budget. Uh, when I first joined the board, we were at 4.96. We, we moved it to nearly 7% as the board treasurer. And that's without the millage funds that we have yet to receive um, that was passed in the, in a, in the previous um, ballot. Now where the, where the challenge comes is continuing to grow that budget. We need to continue to do that so we can make some of the financial decisions that we made previously, like eliminating pay for play for the, the this current school year. If elected, I would like to eliminate pay for play for good, but we need to continue raising our general fund dollars in order to do that so we can put money back into our parents' pockets. Um, again, that's a, a decision that we made um, that doesn't come lightly, but a very happy one that we made and that I've been advocating for for the last two years. Very good. You touched on this a little bit. What are your involvements in community affairs? 
I, uh, I, I was very fortunate enough to play baseball at Xavier University, and uh, it's, it's in my blood, and my, my children absolutely love to play baseball and softball, so I've been coaching for the last seven years, um, my son in, in the Lance Cruz Little League, and my daughter who moved from Lance Cruz Little League to Lance Cruz North Thunder, um, which is on the uh, north side of our district, and uh, just, be, again, being able to mentor and teach and, 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 and show our children the game of baseball is such a passion of mine and, and, and couldn't imagine not coaching. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a great community service, and it's been more of a service to me than it has to them. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, the only thing I'd like to add is, again, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I, I, was, I was given the opportunity two years ago to get on this board. Um, we're very proud of the decisions that we've made and the communication barriers, the, um, the fund balance, the budgeting, the fiscal responsibility that we've shown over the last two years. I would, I would love the opportunity to continue doing that for the next six. Um, I hope I've earned the opportunity to uh, be considered for your vote in, on November 3rd. And if so, uh, I can promise that the, uh, that, the, that the things that I have mentioned and the things that I will mention in next week's symposium um, are things you're going to work hard for. So thank you again to the community. Well, thank you, Adam, for telling us all about yourself and for offering to serve in our community. Thank you. I'm Melissa Goins. Thank you for tuning in to Meet the Candidates of Harrison Township 2020. Don't forget to vote at the polls on August 4th and November 3rd or with an absentee ballot. All voting information for Harrison Township can be found at htvotes.com. That's HT for Harrison Township, votes. Dot com.